Hi, how are you doing? My name is Charisma Glassman, and I'm here today to talk about AI in retail, luxury, and fashion. AI, the topic that never gets boring, right? But before we get into it, let me tell you something that I love. I love the four letter word, S-A-L-E, sale. I love shopping. And it never gets boring for me, whether it is strolling on uh, Manhattan in Fifth Avenue, in the boutique, or going online, or finding something on social media. It is really a stress-busting exercise, whether it is finding something new, new deals, or something fashionable, which is a personal extension of my personal brand. I love the act of shopping. But for my professional life, I took something more traditional. I went to engineering school, studied business in top tier US universities, and took a rather professional, traditional path that laid me in, into the foreign, me into the world of banking, very structured, highly analytical. But my heart was always in retail, luxury, and digital e-commerce. And like all matters of the heart, they kind of manifest themselves it led me back into the top tier consulting firms, and now I'm helping top, world's top retailers, helping solve some of the most complex business problems with technology. Now, most, for most of you, AI is kind of a new thing. It has made recent headlines with ChatGPT, and it has entered boardrooms, but me and my teams have been solving problems with AI for a very long time. We have deep domain retail expertise, and AI expertise, and now we have a very clear view how AI will transform the world of retail and fashion. Now, because this is a TEDx talk, I'm gonna tell you about how this will happen in three horizons. Horizon one, which is about next one year. Horizon two, which is about three years from now. And horizon three, which is 2030, not too far ago. And because we want to do a little bit of storytelling. I'll tell you a little personal story of my friend, Lisa. Like me, Lisa loves to shop. She's a professional in a corporate job. She's always on the go. And she would buy a lot of dresses. And Lisa loves to return those dresses too. So Lisa's returning the dresses. And you know, sometimes she's stuck on these chatbots who takes hours in returning those messages or emails. And God forbid those phone calls that you have to hang up on for hours for. So Lisa told me recently that you know, she has a big customer service problem. And I had to tell her, Lisa, this is not quite uncommon. Most of the retailers are spending one to 5% of their revenues in just forming how to make an impact with their customers through their customer service. This is huge investment of their time. And this is exactly where AI can make a huge investment. Because AI has a capability of sucking up all the customer policies, product recommendations, and interacting very easily with phone calls, emails, and chats. This is an amazing way where AI can really make a huge impact in customer service. But there are three things that retailers need to be careful about. One is risk. Now it's okay when Lisa wants to buy a dress or return a dress, but what if Lisa wants to make a return payment or is asking for a return payment for over $5,000? That's where you need a human in the loop. This is exactly the same thing we say when to escalate to a human. It's okay when, when Lisa wants to talk about where the next store is, but when the customer is upset, you really do not want to talk to a chatbot. You need a human there to show some empathy and trust. And of course, the cost benefit analysis. You really do not need cutting edge AI for every customer interaction. In the future, in the near future of one year horizon, we see all the human agents interacting very transformatively with the AI agents. And these AI agents helping the human agents in escalating where there is anything sensitive or any approvals required. That's amazing. Now let me take you to a journey of what we see a little bit further. We are in 2028 now. And like my I said, my friend Lisa loves to shop. She also loves her personal shopper. For those in the room who do not know what personal shoppers are, they help you, they're humans, they, they are in high-end boutiques, they help you choose what would look nice on you. 
So Lisa goes to this Manhattan boutique on Fifth Avenue and she has a friend who's also her personal shopper. Her name is Jenny. Jenny helps her pick the best ensemble for her next date or any occasion that's coming up. She talks to Lisa, gives her the best experience, and Lisa is very happy. Lisa shared the same experience with me the other day that she really likes Jenny, and I should try her too. I said, hey, I think AI will make an impact here as well. Not only AI agents, these AIs would know exactly what I need through our direct interactions, but also through my online behaviors in the physical world or what I have browsed through in other websites too. And this is what we say will form digital twins. When I talk to my retail clients and they say, where should we start the journey for digital twins? They, I tell them how to start with clean data, how to really start with in making all the interactions at one place in what we say data lakes. And this is where we can run AI models and do hyper-personalized targeted offers where you can really make up, upsell and cross-sell offers or product recommendations to your customers. Now let me take you to 2030. We are in five-year horizon now. And at this point, there are no mobile phones. We are living in a smart home with wearable devices. And Lisa doesn't even know she wants to shop. She's just relaxing at her home and she gets a pop-up message in one of her wearable devices and that says, hey, one of your, from Jenny, and says, hey, your dress is ready. And because she's a high-valued customer, as soon as she says, I would love to come and see and gives her consent, a robo-taxi just pulled up her garage. Now, Lisa just gets into the robo-taxi and goes to this amazing boutique. And she is met with not only Jenny, but also with Janice. So here is Janice. It's an air piece, which is AI powered, constantly telling Jenny about what Lisa would like and helping her for the next dress. Now, Janice is able to tell Jenny in real time it's just not about how to sell one dress, but also the next handbag. Lisa is super happy. She buys both the dresses, the handbag, and gets out of the boutique in half the time in her robo taxi and gets home. The customer journey doesn't end there. Because she lives in a smart home, she goes all through all these wearable technologies. She's now seeing an ad on the television of her next luxury vacation. So these fluid customer journeys is what we're seeing in about five years horizon that will happen with AI. Not only we will be able to tell customers what they don't need, but also upsell them to the next level. And it's just not about Lisa or the customers. Even Jenny is very happy with AI. She's able to impact the, all the employee experiences. She can see what to sell to Lisa and other customers get real-time, near real-time insights into sales, and is making big bucks too. AI is not going to be just a part of the process. It will be the basic foundation of how customers and employee experience will happen in the next five years, which is not too far in the future. So my friends, I'm so excited to share the future with you, that AI will have a deep impact in our basic lives, in day-to-day -day lives, as Somebody who loves shopping, we can see that in every hour of our everyday journey. Now for retailers, this is going to be a transparent journey, but the future is bright and we will make retail very compelling again. Thank you so much.